What is going on here? This is madness. <laughs> oh, it works. Welcome to Cursed Halo 3 by Gashno. Now, unless you're new to the Cursed Halo series I'm doing here, I have just finished Cursed Halo CE by Inferno Plus. And I started that mod knowing a t not much, but a tiny little bit about it. With this one, I'm going into it completely and utterly blind. So, we're going to see how that goes. We're going to see if it gets started. Here he is. Let's see if there's anything different about the boys. Now, we probably don't have a kick in this, so Johnson's safe. We're not leaving him here. No, you fucking no. Alright, let's have a look at our boy. The man, the myth. Now that assault rifle, a lot different. That pistol's flashing blue. Hmm. That looks like the hit. <laughs> He's just shooting in the mouth. What? He just shot Harvey in the mouth. Um. Oh, he's alive. What the fuck is that? Is that a boxing glove? Move out. Quiet as you can. You dumb brick. Your pants are a bit cheap. So what have we... What is this? What is he... What's with the hand? Whoa, 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 whoa. Get to the river for a summertime barbecue with your friends. I don't know what that's doing. Come on, it does... I don't know, well, I could keep hold of that. What's different with the AR? It's got a foregrip by the looks of it. Is it a battery rifle? No. Is it just a... Oh, it just seems to be a... Is this just a useful AR? Oh, it just seems like a really efficient AR compared to the normal one. Do you know what the <laughs> KO? The American made assault rifle, what does that mean? It just not work. <laughs> right, so it's KO. And I've got a knockabout. And then we've got whatever's up with this pistol here. I don't know. These guys have all got the American assault rifle, haven't they? What is what is gonna be the deal with that? Does it just not work in water or something? Right, I'm gonna use this. I don't know what the deal is with his hand being out like that, but there's a left trigger on it, so I'm assuming. Do you know what? Let's just use it. Right. I don't understand that. Does it. Whoa. Right. Okay, this is gonna take some figuring out. <laughs> Let's go. Did I. I might have collided with that rock. Yeah. So it's kind of like with acrophobia when you just hit a surface too fast. Maybe I need to not hold down on it and just sort of do that. I really don't understand that. I'll figure it out. Slip space pistol. Hang on. What? Oh! Oh, it's kind of like the buffing rifle. From, uh Hang on. What the hell? What is... There's... Well, there's vehicles here. I want to check out some of these weapons. Right, that slip space pistol is annoying, but what happens if you charge it? I'm interested, I'm intrigued. We'll fire that. Oh, it just fires a really slow thing. Okay. Uh, I'll fire. Oh, oh, I forgot we've got dual wielding, haven't we? That's going to make things interesting. Stun gun. Oh, so this is just. Got ya. This is the stun gun. Spiker. Laser light show. RT to fire burst spikes, RT to impale. Ooh. Right, and then it fell. What the fuck is that? Alright. Um. Sorry, this is going to be me just learning everything in this this one here. I might as well grab a vehicle. I'm not going to use a vehicle all the way through the level because I feel that wasn't meant to spawn. But, I mean, for the sake of testing them out, let's have a look. So, one of them we called the Low Ride Chopper. Right, let's try that. Try and move it out of it. What's the deal with this then? Ah, uh, hang on, if I, if I drive this in a straight line, is it going to do the... Yeah! <laughs> Bouncy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like the paint job on it as well. Woo! Yeah, vehicles are not meant to be here. Right, so low ride chopper. Interesting. Where's that hog? Did this... Ah, oh, did the hog do spawn? Spawned a hog, didn't they? Ah. Well, Arby's here and he's got a... Blue carbine, <laughs> he's got his cuff on his, on his side. Is there anything different about the skull? Probably not. 
Probably just a normal skull in it, but there's something here. Flood sp Hmm. Now that doesn't sound good. <laughs> it's actually an infection problem, the thing. Does this What does it do? Just infect with the flood? Probably a bad move doing that. Well, they survived. What does does this just shoot infection forms? Or does it turn them into the flood? Friendly flood, maybe that'd be interesting. Whoa! What have these guys got? Right, where's a brute? Grunts can't get infected. It is other enemies as well. So the flood are here a lot earlier than they should be, and I'm getting crunched. <laughs> oh my god! Right, we are not going to use that weapon again. Oh, the hog. It's about when I respawned. Operate Hyper Hog. Jeez. That is, yeah. I've got a feeling this is just going to be. It's going to be a very fast hog by this. By what it's called. Hyper Hog. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is in four times speed. Oh my. Hyper Hog. Yep. Well, something tells me I'll get my hands on one of them later. Right. Let's just try and get on our way. And use some some weapons, hyperhog. Nice, right? That bubble pistol that seems to mess up the visuals is interesting. Right, I'm gonna charge up. Oh my god! If any of you have got uh, any form of color blind, I bet this is messing with you. What does that do? So it just makes a big bullet and then just sort of tracks on. Hang on, boom! Oh my god! Did, wait, hang on. Slip space gun. Did that just send him? Send them away. Okay, let, we'll just we'll just crack on. God, I'm I'm figuring out these weapons is annoying. Where was the brute with the? Oh, it's him. He's got it. Oh, I've got it. What is this? then? the bubble pistol it shoots bubbles. What do you know? <laughs> Checkpoint confidence. Go boop a grunt and a snoot. Boom. Oh, we, red flashlight. By the way, we've looks like a red dot. Uh, I wonder if Cortana is going to do a stupid little monologue that we all love. <laughs> My god, the noise! <laughs> I don't like that! <laughs> they sound like rabbits. <laughs> right, we've got... Look at the reticle. <laughs> we've got this thing here. Which aims there, but you don't actually aim there with the red dot. It's cool as that effect is. The bubble shield seems to be a. Oh, is that yeah something? Or is that meant to be a flare? God knows. Oh, what's this one? I didn't read what this was called. Hang on. Uh, what? No, what? Blood rifle. I oh, so that's the blood and bouncy ball. A lot of plasma rifles. Hey, hang on. So this is the blood rifle. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Bouncy ball rifle. Oh my god. That is a, that's a big reticle. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, what's that grunt got? Um, earth, earth rifle. Earth. Ah, oh, got you. <laughs> Shoot the mud gun. Ah, so they're using this charged up thingy, but it doesn't teleport me away. Oh, needle, needle a shotgun. Oh. Look at that gun! Jesus, that is a bouncing thing. That is a big ass dealer. Yeah. We're not going to bring the glove, but we'll bring the. What's this one? Slip space rifle. So that does the same as the thing, but it seems to be faster fire rate. So it's just giving us a variety of weapons here. What is with the American made assault rifle? I don't understand. Let's use it for a sec. It just seems to be an assault rifle. Is it just because it doesn't work? Like the ammo counter's weighing, weighing down, isn't it? Because the recoil. I am not too sure what this is. It just doesn't aim straight. That's probably got something to do with it. Yeah, okay. Right, well, we're not going to bring this. I'm assuming that's just terrible because it's, it's American made. If you're American and you care about your guns, oh well. We'll take these. Oh, it just keeps giving me weapons. What is this? The beam of the void. That was very ominous. Yeah, well, that damages me. 
You need to stop giving me all these cool weapons all in one area. Pea shooter. <laughs> yeah. Right. There better not be any more cool weapons around here. So I'm just going to keep getting stuck and collecting them. Right, we need the beam of the void and the needle of shotgun. Well, this is already pretty different from uh, Inferno's mod. As in with all these mad weapons. The I don't know what that does. Oh, that is going to be a nine, and we don't have a double jump either to get back up to places easier. But them, them grunts with that, uh, with the <laughs> slip space pistol. Shut up. If the slip space pistol could be a pain. Is that not? Oh, already, and it's actually got the icon of a scarab. Oh, you actually got to charge it. Interesting. Oh my god. Yeah. Right, well, we'll take the scarab gun. I'm not exactly sure what this void gun does. Don't worry, Marine, I'll save you. Honestly, they don't call me the hero for nothing. I really am trying to understand what this beam does. The void something. I'm assuming, does it just reach out with tendrils and kill? What have I got over here anyway, lads? Dart rifle. That is a that is an odd looking BR. America made AR. America made AR. Stun gun. America made AR. Beam of the void. Jesus, what? Someone threw something there. Was that a uh, firebomb? Oh, it's a poison dart gun. That's interesting. You can actually get a, uh, AOE damage. Wait, elites. Elites. What is going on right now? What? Oh, there's a different. Is this a different kind of glove? What does a gender-neutral boxing glove do? Seems to just do the normal stuff. Not too sure about what this is. Gender-neutral boxing glove. What is the difference between this and the other one then? Other than being gender-neutral, <laughs> only you can prevent forest fires. I saw that. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll figure it out later down the line, but for the time being, I'm just going to get going. I don't know what it does, so I'm going to... I'll bring the beam of the void, and we're going to bring the... The, uh, scarab beam with the actual scarab logo on it. Ah, the boys are here. Hello. Now, you can't kill a Halo 3 rat. They're not like other rats. This is 500 years in the future rats. Rats have evolved. Right, moment of truth. Are we going to be stuck with a Cortana monologue? Oh, dear. Yep, we have done like three times now. Eh, uh, oh, I've got a grenade. That looks like a. Sp is this a rocket launcher? Hang on. No, it's a. What is it? What? I don't know what to deal with a rocket. Is that just going to be a rocket that explodes? Oh! Yeah. Oh, well, something's up with. What is coming on here? This is madness! What's up with the banshees? That is not a bench. What is that? Okay, so that is not a flapping venture. That is something. I'm just going to be stopping and seeing what everything is when it's new. Right, what's with the grenades then? It's a plasma. It's a fast plasma. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a, it is a cluster grenade, sort of bukkake thing, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you what, it seems to be a very effective grenade as well with how fast it is. Or is it? What is the deal with them? With the plazies? Have that. Jackal. Well, at least we don't have to worry about Minecraft jackals anymore. That's a bonus. Hopefully, I'm not going to get caught off guard now. Oh, brute shot. What's the brute sh brute scoot? Right. Oh, it's a bouncy brute shot. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's. Is that that's the needle of shotgun that does all the that pushes you back? Right. Where's me void gun? Wait, is that Blamo? These. To recreate glitches from 2004. Swap. 2004. What? Halo 2 glitch, what's this gonna be? I'm assuming that'll be it. It'll be some sort of. To cool off the end. What? Fire hydrant? What does that do? Yeah. Right. We'll take the beam in the void. We'll take this ability here. I have got not a f the foggiest clue. The corn is a the corn is inability. 
What is the calm? It's a high speed calm. That could be used as a weapon. I probably just wasted the calm, but. Right. I don't know what this ability from 2004 is going to be. Something to do with Halo 2, but I don't know. Oh! Just a big jump. And, yeah, I really don't know what is going on with all this kind of stuff here. Ah, it's all new. Uh, sewage. Johnson, you're a damsel in distress every single time. Right. Jackals. What's going to be the What's going to be the gimmick with jackal snipers then? Something. Right, I want to take... I want to take something new. This is the, <laughs> the what? The fertility rifle. Ah, that's the one that injects them with whatever this is. But what is that meant to be? IVF or something? I don't understand what this, what the fertility rifle is meant to be. Um, we'll figure it out. I thought with a name like fertility rifle, I thought this was some sort of like IVF or something. But I don't know. Find your Johnson by wait, never mind, wrong game. Don't get that reference. There's gonna be a sniper down here. I wonder if it's gonna be similar to a buffering rifle or a, a flaccid sniper. I really don't understand what is going on quite to be quite honest right now with most of this. Well that is cursed halo for you. Am I I'm gonna ask what the fertility rifle does, because that's one I do Understand uh, what on earth? Quad sniper. Ooh. Ooh. That is an it. Well, it's an interesting looking sniper, isn't it? But this thing might actually be very, very, very useful compared to the assault rifles we got in in the other cursed Taylor. Oh. <laughs> ah. So it shoots all of its shots at once. The recoil is mad. This is like the equivalent of the. Blunderbuss, isn't it? Okay. Interesting. Well, we're learning a lot. And not understanding a lot at the same time as well. It's all part of the game. These grunts are all twitching as they're dead. You. <laughs> yes, it's Squid Pro Row. Of course. Ooh, the ch <laughs> Why has the chieftain got a bat? Um... There's an elite there with a red carbine, which is different. Right. <laughs> so the jackals, uh, the jackals with carbines, don't seem to be much of a threat because of the. Uh, well, uh, until I figure out what the fertility rifle actually does, I'm assuming it's. It, in my experience, it's not. <laughs> I don't know if that, you're going to be able to hear that in the video, I'm, I'm sorry if you don't, but that brute flying then, the chieftain, was screaming all the way until he landed. <laughs> Just turned, ah! <laughs> oh dear. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, I love this sniper. <laughs> uh, the grunts genuinely sound like rabbits getting killed. <laughs> it's disturbing. <laughs> Where did I, what was why this vehicle was spotted? Where was it? The the splosher. Is this the water chopper? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Wash these filthy apes. So the grunts just have sped up dialogue when they like either get damaged or die by the sounds of it. <laughs> I know, but fun. Right? Do these rockets actually aim forward? No. Just throw like normal grenades. They're useful though. Except you don't know when they're going to go off. And I don't know what the deal is with the phantom to it. Everything's just confusing. I may be still relatively new to this, but I'm learning. And also, I like how the elites, kind of like in uh, Ultimate Sand Trap Fire Fight. Yeah, that's the name. Um, the elites have actually got the whatever season it was of multiplayer armors. I read it for customization for Halo 3, which I thought was a nice touch in uh, Ultimate Firefight, and then it's also shown up here as well, which is cool. Hello. <laughs> what? Oh, wait. I'm figuring out the plasmas. It seemed to fly off in like a spiral. Come here. <laughs> the squeaks. 
Right, let me test something. I'm pretty sure this sends grunts to the Shadow Realm. Oh, and they can aim it. You stand still. Let it happen. Yep. Come on. Come on. <laughs> coming down. Coming down. Coming down. <laughs> Lizard brain. Only problem with doing stuff like that is in Halo 3, the skybox, or the, the barrier is low. Ooh, ooh, I bet that's another Scarab gun up there. I bet you as well, if I had another shot in that, I bet, because I saw the gun, and it's the same as this. Dual Scarab gun. We're going to revert to the last checkpoint. We're going to get the sniper again. We're going to jump up there, and we're going to have dual Scarab guns. So I'm pretty sure that's what that was. So if I do this, and get up here, let's have a look. If this is what I think it is, oh, we are in for some fun. Can we? Oh my god, we can. Wait, two scarabs, I repeat, two scarabs. Oh, God, it doesn't stop firing. Well, that's a thought. Call AJ Johnson 877 crash now. Can I destroy the Phantom? Well, if I could aim, that'd help. Hello, lads. Got sort of control the recoil. Does this only fire one at once? Might be a, the thing. Probably just stop the game from crashing. Hang on. Oh, it works. If we, what happens if we destroy these before the pelicans arrive? I swear that elite had a what looked like a spanker, but we'll we'll get a hold of that at some point. I'm sure. But we, yeah, we've got dual scarab guns, which I'm going to miss. We took down the phantoms by the pelican and arrived. Let's get out of here then. Hop in this stranger's trunk. Always a good idea. Ooh, look at that spanker that's through his head. Is that a backwards launcher by some chance? Because he seems to be chewing it. Looks like one big boom tube as well. And there we go. That is the first mission of Cursed Halo 3. And that was a very nice introduction. That threw a lot of things that are there. A lot of stuff I'm not quite sure I understand yet. And some pretty badass shit as well. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be another fun one as well. I like how both Inferno's Cursed Halo and Gashnor's Cursed Halo are really, really, really well made. And they've both got their own unique charm to them in how they play. That makes them um, different, but still very, very good in their own respects with the different sort of mechanics and that which is very interesting so I'm probably going to have a lot of fun playing this and uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching it thanks for watching to the end interacting with the video and all that fun stuff and listen to Johnson do it now